this is the tipping point. This is the game changer. This is the economic driver. It's a 46,000 square foot and 716 seat dream come true for the city of Federal Way. The new Performing Arts and Events Center, which is set to open its doors on August 19th. Groundbreaking for the facility began in October of 2015 and finishing touches are underway. Teresa Yvonne, who's the executive director of the center, says the finished product should have a big impact on this South King County community. It's a big deal for a brand new building. We have the Nutcracker coming in December, like right out of the gate. We've got the Nutcracker. It's awesome. So, you know, we have our community groups that we've had. You know, we have the Harmony Kings, Jet Cities, Federal Way Corral. Those folks are the folks um, that have been kind of carrying the bucket of water, you know, for a long time to get this facility done, at least the performing arts side of it. Um, I think um, Deanie Duclo, um, council member Duclo, I have to give her credit because she's the one that said, really the best way to explain it was, Federal Way wanted to build a performing arts center, wanted to build a conference center, 40 million, 40 million. We didn't have 80 million. And she said, why can't we just put these together? So for 32.7, we're getting both. While this facility will host concerts, conferences, and the Tacoma Ballet, it'll also be a classroom of sorts for children who are interested in studying the performing arts. We have a lot of underserved schools. We really do. And, and so if there's a school that's like, you know, our PTA raised X amount and we need this amount to be able to come, the foundation will help support that. Bus, busing, transportation, they're setting up a transportation fee fund so that, you know, if, if the hurdle is getting the kids on the bus and paying for the bus for them to come here, then they will help with that also. The first scheduled event, a production of Rain, which is a musical tribute to the Beatles, will be held on September 9th and it'll also be a fundraiser for the center's Arts for Youth program. So the goal though, of course, is it will have 700 kids. K through 12 coming in here to see a performance. This year I have four that are coming, so not a lot, but it's the first year. So Golden Dragon Acrobats, I'm bringing Book It Theater down here. All the kids that come to that performance will actually get a, a book. It's um, on Ada's Violin, so it's based on a literary story, and they will all get that book. With a new building comes new technology technology that helps the hearing impaired be able to further enjoy any given performance that's being held at this state-of-the-art facility. So what's really great about this is that when people come to the theater and they need hearing assistive technology, they can simply choose to change a program on their own hearing device to be able to tap into uh, the assistive listening technology that's already been installed into this building. For Northwest Now Digital First, I'm Chris Anderson.